indeed there is a great awakening that is happening. And just earlier today, I was having a nice meal by myself, enjoying a book, and I couldn't help but overhear a conversation close by. It was a conversation where the, the meat of this conversation was all about questioning. It was all about questioning the narratives being spoon-fed to the masses by corporate media. It was all about questioning the validity of dogmatic religious beliefs. It was all about questioning everything, everything that people have been programmed to believe is the immutable truth. And everywhere I go, I'm finding I run into these conversations with people who I don't know more and more. And just even if you hear one conversation in a crowd of people who are babbling on about sports or reality TV or the news, even if you hear one conversation coming from this place of enlightenment and awakening and the willingness to discard beliefs that are no longer serving you, that's a huge step of progress. And we have what some call the reticular activation system. And this reticular activation system works like a, a radar it, or GPS. When it finds a subject that is pulling intense focus from your being, focus, concentration, emotional content, then it's going to find evidence of that point of focus everywhere, everywhere you go. And I'm finding, for me, that point of focus is awakening to who we are as human beings and the truth of our potential, our purpose, this awakening again, it starts with asking the right questions. Asking the right questions and then rejecting what you know to be false. Even if structures of power, structures that make your life more comfortable, insist that these falsehoods are true. And just a few years ago, nobody was even aware, I should say very few people were aware of the World Economic Forum. Very few people were aware of who Klaus Schwab was. Very few people were aware that Bill Gates was anything other than an entrepreneur and philanthropist. Many people were not aware of the concept of social engineering. And everywhere I go now, I hear random people talking about these things, asking questions about these subjects, and asking questions about how these particular subjects are playing out in their lives. And more importantly, trying to figure out what to do about it. Trying to figure out what is relevant for me to do to move forward. And another piece of waking up, when we start to see these old paradigms crumble away, when we start to reject the paradigms of falsehood that we once believed as true, we ask what is true. What are my first values in this world of illusion, in this world of deceit? 
what is worth sacrificing my life for? And I'm finding more and more people asking this question with a full, honest heart. And this is such a good sign. This is such a sign of hope. Now, I've said in other videos, evil is still going forward. The future plan of merging man and machine, that is still moving forward. But at the same time, there's an awakening. At the same time, there are more and more who are asking the right questions, who are getting in touch with the truth that comes only from one's heart. The old phrase, to know something by heart, there's something to that because within the heart, there is a knowing and knowing transcends belief. And those on that path of awakening are tapping into a knowing. They are tapping into a deep knowing of a profound truth that is guiding their life, guiding them into becoming who they were meant to be and transforming the world around them. Thus, shifting a piece of the collective consciousness. And this is such a beautiful thing. So I am Jason Abraham, the Shadow Teacher, 33. And for those who are waking up, those who are asking the right questions, those who are finding the knowing in an open heart, I salute you.